Okay, so I'm not sure how this video will turn out, but I'm going to put a little bit of music on it. And this is what it's demonstrating is. I'll knock this down a bit. It's demonstrating a character from Daz walking around the game world. using Shooter AI. You can see there's an interaction here. One of the other guys has just killed her, in fact. Her, she is en route to, uh, to a little tour of the level, so I've left him in just to see how they interact. Let's run it again and see if uh, he dies this time. Um, not really sure why I've got the music on, it's probably just distracting things, but it was supposed to be a nice scenic thing of the uh, of the woman actually, I've got the, I wanted the camera to pan around, like, something like, something like this but without the hair slitted. So you can see the quality of her is amazing. Oh, she's been killed by none other than this bugger here. As you can see, this AI package is very impressive in itself. Now I'm going to turn this bloke off, actually. And we're just going to follow the woman's tour. Uh, I've done a lot of videos today and I've wanted my fourth can of beer. This is my last video, but I thought it would be interesting to show how I took a character from Daz and uh, put it into AI Shooter and then was able to uh, script, script a little path for her, you know, so she can run around. Let me find something that doesn't look for me. So she can run around and find her own way right around my level, up and down ramps and things like that. Not holding the gun properly yet, but um, she should have her arm out with the gun in it. I'm not quite sure why she doesn't actually or whether she can even shoot but I'm getting there quite exciting to actually get a, a decent model that runs around like this I've scripted everywhere she can go and I can have her interact with other people She's going to go down this ramp now, which is quite tough to get going, but she will. And look at the quality. Beautiful. She's going down the ramp. And you can make cutscenes with all of this sort of thing, focusing on the feet and that. The grids won't be there, obviously, when you do that. And now she's actually going to go to this window, where I can pan around here. And zoom in and see her actually looking out the window. And then she decides to continue and she goes down a ramp here which I can follow her do I can zoom around here even so what she's doing now is she's gone down to the train station and uh, she's just gonna run right the way along the train station because uh, I couldn't get it to go over the track at the moment I tried to get it to run over the track actually but she uh, she wouldn't do it yet but I've got to go right to the end of the track and then there's a little platform she can take and then she goes right around but really we don't need to see all that but it's quite exciting because I remember at the beginning of this project thinking I wanted something like Killer 7 or something 
And here, just looking at this one scene, I'm quite impressed. You know, I see really nice graphics and things panning by and models, good quality models. I never dreamt I could get this uh, this level of uh, quality. So, oops, I'm extremely happy. See, the gun's not quite right yet. Right, it's just stuck in the uh, in the woman's hand. But actually, the package handles all of that perfectly. It's just that I haven't, haven't got it working properly yet. But wow, look at that! That reminds me of Killer Seven in many ways. That's what they did. They picked the right angle for the, even just an angle like that made it feel somehow like it was, it was more dramatic. And you can see the grand scheme of things where she really is. She's getting to the end of this uh, station right now. And when she gets to the end, must be tough running in, the, in those high heels as well all this time. She'll take this little uh, block here and turn the corner. You can change the amount that they delay between reaching so-called waypoints. Um, I should turn the corner. But at the moment I've got them so they stop because maybe they'd want to take a breather or maybe it looks more realistic. And there she is running and she will stop when she gets around to this ramp here. But uh, it's pretty cool to see her running around the entire world and, uh, and attacking the other block earlier. Obviously you can make it so they can't attack each other and sometimes they can have groups of people now the next step is to get her to run up this ramp but there's a couple of little bits here which make that quite difficult you know to cover over these things with gaps that allow the character to actually maneuver it or overall or just the overall settings so that um, they can jump or whatever um, but I'm still learning all that look at the real time shadows being cast that's brilliant. This is why I had music on before because I thought it would be quite cinematic in many ways. But thanks for watching.